guys, welcome to another episode of Rock's Garage Crash Course. I'm your host, Gil. Today we're going to talk about the features and functions of the Navitas app for the Navitas controllers. The first thing we're going to do when we launch the application is we're going to uh, press on the number that you see, which is actually the serial number of the controller. On that tab, you're going to see features like the speedometer, real-time speedometer. You're going to see live battery voltage, controller temperature. You're also going to see features like a Bluetooth lockout. With one touch of the button, you can lock the vehicle so that it cannot be driven. There's also a feature on the same tab where you can see the status of the forward, reverse, or neutral position. Um, you can also see if the key is on or off. On the screen, you also may see an alert for fault codes that may be present in the controller. At that point, you can send those off to be diagnosed. Next, we're going to move on to the Diagnostics tab. On this tab, you're going to be able to see some key performance features on the controller and the settings that are currently in the controller. Things like the current key switch position, a throttle percentage, motor RPM, things that you're going to need to tweak the performance of the controller. Next, we're going to move on to the Settings tab. The Settings tab is the tab that you're going to be able to make some minor adjustments to the settings in the controller to better adjust those for your customer's needs. A few things you'll be able to adjust in the controller uh, for the Settings tab will be tire size, enable the overdrive, or disable the overdrive. The other key information you're going to be able to use on that tab will be to start a data log while you're driving the vehicle once you complete that data log, you can submit that and it will go to the technical support team for review to better tweak your settings for your customer. As an additional note, any changes made while in the settings tab must be saved by scrolling to the bottom of the tab and pressing the save changes button. Next, we're going to move on to the downloads tab. This is a location where you're going to find field maps for specific motors. Before you download and install the field map, please consult with Navitas to confirm the application is correct. Now that we've gone through all of the tabs on the Navitas application, one thing to note is today's cart is a DC powered cart. If you were using an AC powered cart, the application is slightly different in the layout, but the features and functions are the same. Now that we've covered all the features and functions of the Navitas application, that'll do it for today's episode of Crash Course. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact your sales rep.